Hey guys, welcome back to T's channel. Thanks so much for tuning in. So yes, today, I mean yesterday, I saw Bahubali conclusion. It is awesome. It is a must watch movie for special effects. So um, yeah, this is a recreation of uh, the heroine Anushka Shetty's makeup. The makeup look uh, on the overall movie was very, very subtle and soft and she was just so beautiful. The only grandness that in her look was uh, the accessories rather than the makeup so uh, today I will be recreating the makeup that was that she was wearing mostly in the movie so if you guys like these kind of recreations definitely like subscribe and share with your friends now let's see how I got I mean I recreated her look I've already primed my face with the Nivea shaving balm next I'm going to apply foundation and I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Polis Foundation. I'm in the shade 330. Her skin was so fabulous, so naturally blend. So this is a good foundation for that. So I'm going to apply dots all over my face. I'm going to just dab the sponge and I'm going to blend it really well. Anushka's face was so fabulously flawless, I'll be applying another coat of the foundation. Blending is actually very very important. The more you blend it well, the more uh, naturally flawless your skin will look. So just take time really blending well. Even though you feel like you've blended enough, just uh, keep the mirror really close and see if you've blended really well. Next, I'm gonna take the LA Girl High Definition Pro Conceal in Toffee. Toffee is my concealer shade and I'm gonna conceal all my flaws. I first blend it with my fingers. I first blend it with my fingers. And then use the tip of the sponge and then blend it using that. Blend it really, really well. Next I'm going to highlight, uh, for highlighting I'm going to use the same um, LA concealer and this time it's in the shade Warm Honey and not a big fan of too much highlighting, I just want to do it naturally so I do it on my cheekbone. On the tip of my nose, chin area, top of my lip, inside my eyes and eyebrows. I'm going to use my sponge to blend this really well. So you see that lift? So I always feel highlighting should be done very naturally. Next is contouring and again the same LA Pro Conceal and my shade is Expresso and the areas I contour cheeks chin and 
and bottom lip. And I blend it really, really well. I use only cream products to highlight and contour so it looks more natural. And then whatever is left on the tip, I do it on my side of my neck. Now I'm going to set the entire makeup using Krylon Derma Color Fixing Powder and I'm in the shade P4. So this is a loose powder, loose fixing powder. Just tap off the extra. And I just press the brush and set the entire makeup. It doesn't have too much of coverage, so it won't disturb any color that's that I've applied. Just press it well and set. Now the face makeup is done. I'm going to uh, do my eyebrows. I've already have an eyebrow video which I'll put at the description bar. So I'll do my eyebrows and also I will uh, put the head chain and I'll be back. For the eyes, I'm going to start with NYX eyeshadow base in skin tone. I'm going to apply this all over my eyes. And then I'm going to apply eyeshadow. Next from the Makeup Revolution Ultra Eyeshadow Palette, I'm going to use this really gorgeous champagne gold shade. So I'm going to apply this, like pack it up and apply this really well. So on most of the film, and more, I could see that she had only one eyeshadow. It's very rare that she had more than two eyeshadows in the movie, even though it was a very grand movie. The makeup was actually very, very subtle. Applying this all over my lid. I'm also going to apply this on the inner corner. Next, from the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette, I'm going to use this gorgeous pink shade. So, there's a very, very light hint of pink. So, I'm going to apply this just on the crease. Very, very light hint of pink I was able to see. So, I'm applying. Next, for highlighting my eyes, I'm going to use the Diamond Glow. Quad by Maybelline. So I'm gonna apply it on my eyebrows, just below my eyebrows. Highlight it and blend with the rose eyeshadow. And also middle corners. Next, I'm gonna line my eyes using the Nykaa 24 Hour Vanilla Luxe Eyeliner. And she had a winged, a beautiful thick winged liner on the top and uh, the bottom. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I've winged it. Now I'm going to just join it. So I'm gonna do the same on the left eye, and I'll be back. Next, I'm going to line the inner corners of my eyes. For that, I'm going to use the Lakme Iconic Kajal. Next, I'm going to curl the lashes. I'm not going to apply too much mascara because I could see the, that she was wearing false lashes throughout the movie. So for mascara, I'm going to use Max Factor Masterpiece Transform High Impact Volumizing Mascara. So I've applied mascara. Next, I'm going to apply false lashes. I'm going to use these lashes and uh, this is from eBay. It's actually like, it's actually like one dollar. So, so I'm going to apply this and I'm going to apply it using this essence frame for, frame for fame lashes. This is awesome, awesome glue. So I'm going to apply false lashes and I will be back. So eyes are done. Next on to cheeks. For cheeks, I'm going to use 
Kiko Milano Desert Dunes Trio in Gypsy Pink and this is such a gorgeous uh, blush palette she was having a beautiful uh, you know pink cheeks so I'm gonna apply very nice uh, you know shiny pink cheeks so I, I'm, I was just really glad that she did not apply highlight or anything <laughs> it was not any highlight like a crazy Instagram and YouTube beauties and uh, just beautiful pink cheeks lips most of the time I could see it was um, a beautiful pink lipstick or a uh, maroon lipstick so I chose the pink one uh, for that I'm gonna use the A1 true color lipstick in Wineberry So yes guys, that is a makeup look of Bahubali Conclusions Anushka Shetty's makeup look. So it was a very, very mild and very beautiful makeup look. She was just tall, gorgeous, hot. Anyways guys, hope you guys liked the makeup. It's just a very simple makeup that we can even do for any bridal showers or parties or receptions. Just a uh, very soft and subtle makeup. So anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care everyone.